attention distinguished guests. Please join us in welcoming our newest students to the Herman Oster School of Dentistry of USC, the doctoral to dentist, I'm sorry, the doctoral to dental surgery class of 2025 and the advanced standing program for international dentists class of 2023.
behalf of the faculty, staff, and students, welcome to the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC White Coat Ceremony. I became a dentist because I really enjoyed the fact that you can boost someone's self-esteem and confidence all by changing their smile. My father is actually a physician and I grew up watching him help others and it really inspired me to also help others. I knew I was going to become a dentist the day that I got my braces off. I couldn't stop smiling that day, I had so much more self-confidence and I want to pay that forward. I became a dentist because I wanted to work with people and I wanted to incorporate science into my everyday profession. I became a dentist because it's the perfect combination of art and science. You have the immediate fulfillment of seeing the beauty of your work in a patient's smile, but also taking into account the patient's health and function of their teeth. I became a dentist because uh, my family dentist was a USC grad. I liked his lifestyle and he had a great family life. I thought I could do this the rest of my life. My wife Barbara, she inspired me to become a dentist. She had worked as a registered nurse for the four years to help support me through dental school. That was 58 years ago and we're still happily married. So I looked into pharmacy and medicine and law. Dentistry just appealed to me the most. It seemed like one where I could treat patients and do medicine but at the same time work with my hands. So it was the most appealing actually. My first day in dental school, in a class of dental anatomy, our revered uh, professor informed us that we were already six weeks behind. So the first year of dental school, I have very fond memories, especially starting from the very first day, and then the next four years was a blur. Walking through those front doors, seeing the banners of USC, it's a moment that I realized all that hard work in undergrad finally paid off. I chose USC because I grew up in LA and it's considered the best dental school in Los Angeles and one of the best in the world. The reason I chose the Herman Oster School of Dentistry is because I went to USC for undergrad and once you're a Trojan, you're a Trojan for life. USC has always been my dream school. I applied for undergrad but I didn't get in so I vowed to myself that I would work really, really hard and apply again for professional school and I got in this time. Even though I am a Bruin, I chose USC because it is the best dental school. When I was attending San Diego State for my undergraduate work, my dentist in San Diego was a USC graduate, and he always told me that USC was the best dental school to go to in the country. One of the reasons I chose USC was because it's in Southern California. You have the sun and the beaches, but unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to enjoy them until after you graduate. White coat ceremony was actually very uh, emotional for, for me and my family. My mom came up to me afterwards and said it was one of the happiest events and experiences of her life. And the reason, she said, is because the white coat ceremony, she knew that now I was in a profession, in a career, and that I would be okay and be able to support myself, and she wouldn't have to worry as a mother anymore. One memory I remember from my white coat ceremony was actually my grandfather came, and he's from the Philippines, and it was the one thing that I got to do with him while I was still here. It was meaningful for my friends and my family to be at my white coat ceremony because it showed how much support they had for me and I wanted to share this special milestone with them. When you graduate from USC, you can expect that you're going to be trained in one of the best dental schools in the world and in one of the most competitive. So you really are prepared to do very well in the world as far as access to alumni and a large support group and being able to survive out there. One of the things you can expect after you graduate is being a part of the Trojan family and having a lot of support from all the other hygienists that come before you. And if you need help, advice, counsel, call them. That's what we're there for. My family has been such a great support system for me through this entire journey and process. My family was very supportive because I was the first really to get to this level of education. One of the ways I was able to get through dental hygiene school was through the support of my family, and without it, I couldn't have done it. My family's definitely been a big part of my education. Uh, they've always supported me from day one. They're extremely proud of me, and it's something that I cherish and I carry with me every single day. My advice to you is to come to school every day prepared, and before you know it, you'll be graduating. And my advice to you is to always be ethical and have the highest integrity with what you do and treat your patients like they're your friends and family. USC is really what you make of it, so take advantage of all the opportunities. So don't be afraid to ask questions. My best advice to you would be to find a place to have a quick bite to eat, because that's all you'll have time for. If you don't enjoy coffee now, you should probably start. 
if you don't want to try coffee, you could drink a lot of black tea. And to find a good place in the library to sleep. Don't forget what you've achieved here today. It's the start of your dental career. You have four years to go. After that, you have your whole dental profession life to look forward to. I will dedicate my professional life to regarding each patient as a whole and complex person. I dedicate my life to the health of those whose lives I directly or indirectly touch. I will always practice my profession with the highest integrity. I will maintain by all means in my power the noble traditions of the dental profession. I will honor my fellow students as professional colleagues and function in such a fashion as to earn their trust and respect. I will always maintain the highest respect for human life. I make these promises without hesitation, freely and on my own. Fight on! Please welcome Dean Abishai Sadan, Dean of the Herman Oster School of Dentistry of USC. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the 2021 White Coat Ceremony. My name is Abishai Sadan, and I am the Dean of the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC. The White Coat Ceremony is always an exciting time for us as we watch with pride so many young and talented students taking their first step towards fulfilling their dreams of a dental career. But this year feels even more special as it is marking a return to something that's been in short supply these past 19 months, normalcy. It feels incredible to be able to safely come together once again to celebrate the incoming members of the DDS class of 2025 and the ASPID class of 2023. Please join me in a round of applause for these students. Today, we will all witness an exciting transformation here inside the Bovard Auditorium. The women and men who filed in here today will depart forever changed. Students, by the time you leave today, you will have put on your Austro white coat for the first time. You will have taken a solemn oath to conduct yourself with compassion, honor, and professionalism. And you will leave this auditorium as the newest member of the highly regarded Trojan dental family. It's a transformation that will require much of you in the coming years. Most importantly, you will be expected to uphold the high standards set forth by more than 120 years worth of students who have come before you. It's a responsibility reserved only for the best of the best. And looking out at this crowd, I'm confident each of you is up to the challenge. Today is not only a special occasion for our students. We are also joined by the proud family, friends, and significant others who have stood by these students every step of the way. It is in part because of this unwavering love, support, and encouragement that our students have made it this far. To the family and friends in the audience, I'd like to offer our gratitude for entrusting us with your loved one's future. It is a responsibility we will not take lightly. Please join me in a round of applause for the families and friends joining us today. Students, each of you begin a course of study that will test your limits intellectually, emotionally, and physically. Your years at Ostro 
will not be easy ones. Many of you will routinely watch the sun rise and set over the dental school. You will spend hours studying in our library, conducting research in our laboratories, and providing treatment in our clinics. During this time, we will teach you to practice dentistry using the most innovative science, technologies, and methods. You will learn to practice dentistry not as it exists today, but, that, but as it will in, exist in 10, 15, and 20 years from now. It is partly this forward-looking curriculum that will help you stand apart from other dental school graduates across the nation. During your time at Ostro, there will be many exciting opportunities for you to augment your education even farther outside the classroom. There will be chances to conduct research with some of the profession's most well-respected investigators, to provide treatment to some of society's most vulnerable populations, and to develop leadership skills as part of the many student groups here at Ostro. I encourage you to take advantage of as many opportunities as you can, because it is through these experiences that you will forge your raw talent, intelligence, and curiosity into a rock-solid career to last you the rest of your life. You now enjoy the many perks of being a member of the Trojan Dental family and are welcomed by the Century Club Alumni Association, the dental school's premier alumni support group. The group offers everything from mentorship to networking opportunities and connects you to a vast group of well-connected Trojan dentists willing and able to help you in your career. It's what being a Trojan Dental family member is all about. At this time, I'd like to introduce our first speaker. It was just three years ago that Anna Adeje was sitting here, like many of you, eager to put on her white coat and begin her dental studies at Ostro. Today, she is a third-year DDS student, the Vice President of Internal Affairs for the Associated Student Body, and someone who has plenty of insight into what the coming years have in store for you. Please welcome to the podium, student doctor, Anna Deje. Give me a moment. <laughs> okay. Good evening, family, friends, DDS class of 2025, and ASPID class of 2023. My name is Anna J, a fellow dental children of the DDS class of 2022. And I would like to extend a warm welcome and a huge congratulations to each of you for reaching this major milestone. I'm originally from Ghana, West Africa, but grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina, and chose to pursue my dental degree at USC after graduating in 2018 from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. I recall deliberating my decision to move across the country to pursue my degree in dentistry. Friends and family members asked why I chose USC over other schools. Two reasons. The first being the familial ambiance that I felt during interview day. Upperclassmen and faculty were so willing to help me navigate my decision, they offered advice and encouragement when they didn't have to. After all, I wasn't officially a Trojan, but I appreciate that they went out of their way to help me with such a crucial and personal decision. The second reason, I wanted to graduate from a dental school as a confident and well-prepared clinician. I couldn't stop hearing about how great of a dentist I would be and how fire my hand skills would be if I attended USC. These comments not only came from affiliates of USC, but from mentors, dental students from different schools, and even Uber drivers. <laughs> there are many dental students that will, op there are many dental schools that will offer a great education. 
However, to be in an environment that seamlessly encourages lifelong bonds through teamwork while ensuring that each student is thoroughly equipped is invaluable. This is the environment that Herman Ostro embodies. Therefore, your decision will definitely not be in vain. I'm sure that your respective journeys were marked with obstacles that birthed valuable lessons and moments of anxiety and anticipation that were ameliorated by the joy and relief you felt when you received your acceptance letters. Your journey has brought you to Herman Ostro, and I can guarantee you that these upcoming years will be filled with many opportunities, growth, laughter, long nights of studying, and much time spent in the sim lab, which will only prepare you to be a distinguished and adroit clinician. I stand here three years later after being in your current position, and the most valuable piece of advice that I can give to you is to be bold and vulnerable during your training at Herman Ostro. Avail yourself to each experience by maintaining an inquisitive, humble, and positive disposition in every encounter that you will have during dental school. How can one do so? One, learn to cherish feedback. There will always be something that you can improve upon from how you prep a crown to how you treatment plan or manage your patients. Once you have received feedback, practice, practice, practice. Two, establish genuine bonds with your classmates, staff, and faculty. Each interaction you have is valuable to your growth as a clinician. Respect, encourage, and help one another, and trust that you are in an environment that provides valuable resources and experiences to propel you toward your goals as a future dentist. And lastly, have fun. I definitely could not have gotten through the long nights of studying or moments when life happened without the beach days, the hikes, the boba study breaks or Korean barbecue dinners hosted by my classmates who have become my family away from home. Oftentimes, you will hear Dr. Navasesh's plea to relax, enjoy the sun, and drink lots of water. It is easy to lose sight of these things, but the point here is to invest in yourself so that you will be able to extend the best version of yourself throughout this process. I wish you all the best of luck in your journey, and don't forget to fight on. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Our next uh, speaker is one of the two super Trojans speaking here today. A super Trojan is someone who is an alumnus of several USC programs, and Cheryl is just that. She earned her bachelor degree at USC in biological and biomedical sciences before joining the Trojan dental family, completing both a doctor of dental surgery degree and a prosthodontics residency. We were so impressed by her talent as a resident that we brought her on as a faculty member. Today, she's an assistant professor of clinical dentistry who directs the fixed prosthodontics modules for our DDS and ASPE programs. And you will find that out very soon. It's about to start. In early 2020, in early 2020 she was named the inaugural Carl Reeder Professor of Restorative Dentistry. Please join me in welcoming to the podium, Dr. Cheryl Park. All right, I'm gonna lower this a little bit. <laughs> Hello, good evening. It's really my pleasure to be here today in person to be able to speak to everyone. Um, it's amazing how time passes so quickly. I didn't realize it's been more than 10 years since I stood in your shoes in my white coat ceremony. I felt excited, as many of you do, nervous, mostly excited, and full of hope and dreams that I wanted to accomplish. Well, they asked me here today to share some advice with you, so hopefully it helps you along the way in your training and a little bit further, I hope, okay? My first advice is to make sure you know that everyone is different, and it's okay that everyone is different. 
enjoy the difference. Actually, you're going to be surrounded by such different people, different environment under the same stress. So enjoy that process, learn from each other, and you'll really come out a better individual. I did, and it really, it's a great uh, feeling and experience once you go through the, um, the training program. But remember to ask for support and help. We're all part of the Austro-Trojan family. We will help you. There's going to be support out there for you. My second lesson or advice is to make sure that you have a balanced life. You're going to have some long days, as we talked about. You're going to have some tough procedures to do. You're going to have some tough patients. However, make sure you have a balance in your life, which may mean different things for everyone. For someone, that might mean you have to work out at the end of the day or end of the week. For someone like me, it meant that I needed to take out some time for myself to reorganize, to reprioritize, so that you can go back and give it your all you got for that tough patient, tough procedure the next week. So remember that. That really helped me a lot, so I hope that helps you. My third and last advice is be, become lifelong learners which means that you gotta ask questions. You gotta be interested about what you are learning and doing. You gotta be passionate about what you're going to do for the rest of your life. So become lifelong learners. I often see students that they're scared to start a new procedure, um, you know, learn a new challenge procedure because they are afraid to make mistakes. That's okay to make some mistakes along the way. That's how best of us learn. That's how I retained information, not to repeat the mistake again, okay? So I hope those three advice help you along the way. I really want to take this time to congratulate all of you and all of your family on this amazing journey that you're starting. And I wanna give a warm Trojan welcome. Fight on. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Park. Our second Super Trojan speaking this evening is Dr. Kevin Liu. Dr. Liu earned his Doctor of Dental Surgery degree at Ostro before going on to pursue a medical degree from the Keck School of Medicine at USC as part of Ostro's Oral Maxillofacial Surgery Residency. After finishing his medical degree with honors from Keck, he resumed the Oral Maxillofacial Surgery Residency, completing extensive training in anesthesiology and a one-year general surgery internship at Huntington Memorial Hospital in Pasadena. In June 2007, Dr. Liu completed Ostro's oral and maxillofacial surgery residency program. Today, he runs a very successful private oral surgery practice in Larchmont Village, focusing on dental alveolar and implant surgery. Dr. Liu has another tie to Ostro. His father, Dr. Ed Liu, has been an active, engaged, and loyal member of our Board of Counselors for many years, always willing to offer his sage guidance, which I couldn't be more grateful for. With that said, please join me in welcoming to the podium, Dr. Kevin Liu. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to all of you on this very special night. As Dean Sedan mentioned, I'm Kevin Liu. I'm an oral maxillofacial surgeon, and I'm a graduate from the dental school class of 2001, Keck School of Medicine 2004, and the oral surgery residency of 2007. I'm so incredibly honored to be here representing the class of 2001, and honestly, I can hardly believe that it's been 20 years. Uh, it flies by, so enjoy it. I was actually part of the pilot problem-based learning program, <clears throat> which means that when I went through, there were only 14 students in my class. It was 
all case-based learning, and we had no formal lectures. And as a matter of fact, at that time, all of the traditional students had no idea what PBL was. There were rumors flying around the school that we were actually academically challenged, <laughs> and that PBL stood for problems with basic learning. <laughs> so as I reminisce back about all my years here, I started to get so excited for all of you because I can remember the anticipation that I had when I was in your shoes. I'm really, really honored just to kind of be here and to be able to celebrate this momentous occasion with you because for you, this is just the start, the start of something great. You know, I think that if you take a look around just for a second and just kind of note who's sitting around you, one of those people could be your future husband. <laughs> your future wife. Maybe your ex. <laughs> or your next BFF. But you know what? Each and every one of them are going to be one of your colleagues. So whether you're a gaucho or a Bruin or an anteater or a banana slug, and whether you like it or not, you're also a Trojan now. So as you sit here holding your pristine white coats, think about what they represent. You're about to enter the world of a time-honored profession, one that's gonna become part of your identity. Oh, but for some of you who are still hanging on to these aspirations of being an influencer, Congratulations, you're now influencers of oral health. <laughs> the coming years are going to be filled with some undoubtedly challenging parts, and it's going to be easy to get bogged down along the way. But try to keep your focus on your purpose. Learn to solve the problems that you are going to inevitably face in practice. Remember to take care of yourselves. Just got it. <laughs> Remember to take care of yourselves. Uh, but be there for one another also. Don't be too big to help your fellow colleagues, and don't be too proud to ask for help. I think that just this month alone, I've probably spoken to at least five of my colleagues who have been kind enough to offer some advice. And likewise, I've spoken to others who've been, who, to whom I've offered some of my own. Now, I know that some of you are probably sitting there and you're thinking, oh, for the next years, I am gonna be a poor, starving dental student. <laughs> but just imagine that at the end of this journey, you are gonna be so rich. in experience and memories. <laughs> Today marks the beginning of your story. The richness of your words and the tone of your sentences will be a reflection of your action and your demeanor. You have the opportunity to compose the story and its conclusion. The book, the book is gonna be your legacy. I wish you all the best. Be the professional that you've chosen to be. Take care of yourselves and take care of your Trojan family. Carry on the legacy of the USC School of Dentistry and fight on. Thank you, Dr. Liu. Now it's time to address the white coat and what it stands for. It not only represents your entrance into the dental profession, it also symbolizes 
a solemn obligation to your mentors and the educational process, as well as an enduring commitment to service and compassion. There is a well-known USC phrase that I feel is very appropriate for this, and you have heard it already a few times today. It is, fight on. By putting this coat on today, you commit yourself to always fight on for your patient's health and well-being and for the integrity, honor, and ethics of your profession. At this time, please stand up and put on your white coats. Students, please repeat after me. I will dedicate my professional life to regarding each patient as a whole and complex person, promoting health to all people, identifying risk factors, and serving as an advocate for disease prevention. I will use the very best clinical diagnostic strategies, provide the finest clinical treatments and therapeutics, and continue to learn, revise, and enrich my knowledge throughout my career. I dedicate my life to the health of those, I, to those whose life I directly or indirectly touch. My family and friends, the broader community, my individual patients, and their families. I extend to the learned faculty, staff, and fellow students my full respect and gratitude, which is their due. I will always practice my profession with the highest integrity, thoughtful judgment, and skills derived from scientific evidence. I will always conduct myself with conscious, compassion, and dignity, with the health and well-being of my patients and community as the first consideration. I promise to respect the privacy of my patients. I will maintain by all means in my power the noble traditions of the dental profession. I will honor my fellow students as professional colleagues and function in such a fashion as to earn their trust and respect. And together, we will nurture our shared humanity. I will not let considerations of religion, nationality, race or ethnicity, gender or sexual orientation, disabilities, political choices, or social and economic standing interfere with my duty to the patient. I will always maintain the highest respect for human life. 
I make these promises without hesitation, freely, and upon my honor. Congratulations to all of our students here today. You are now, yes. You are now. You are now officially part of the Trojan Dental family. We are here to support you. My door and the doors of the faculty, staff, and alumni are always open to you and your family members. Welcome to USC and fight on! All right.